Should be set. Good morning, guys. Welcome, Alex. First time here. It's uh, it's Monday, guys, but we already got some volatility in the markets. We just had Flash Services and Flash Manufacturing PMI news release. Both of those um, came out basically conflicting with one another. One's bullish, one's bearish. So not really a whole lot of bias to draw from that. We've kind of got a wash between these two news releases. Um, and just looking at the structure here, um, a little bit later in the session, we can go back and we can take a peek at some of the higher up time frames. But basically the bias is still the exact same as it was Friday at the end of our session in the morning. Um, nothing has really shifted in the higher time frame perspective, but we've got basically a continuation of that all playing out as we speak. We've got these Friday lunchtime highs that were just taken out prior to, uh, right prior to the news release. And then this 15 minute inefficiency was filled at that exact same time, leaving the uh, Friday AM session high in place as of right now. So as of right now, looking at this, coming into this hour, I am expecting a further draw to the downside for these levels of sell side liquidity. Um, but in order for us to get a setup to take from there, if we scale in here to the smaller time frames. We're going to want to see obviously a retracement back into a level of premium in order for us to get short. We're not just going to want to jump on right here. At least I'm not going to want to. So here's my plan. Let's go ahead and mark this out from swing high to current swing low. This could change depending on where we turn around here. But what I'm expecting would be a, a retracement back into, like I said, one of these levels of, of premium that we can look to get an entry from. So we've got a two minute gap here one minute gap as well three minute gap all kind of lined up in the same area which i guess if we were to actually fib this up probably will end up being ote as well which it is so we've kind of got a lot of different entry models all overlapping right here and this is where i'm looking to execute an entry would be right inside this gap to the downside if we get a pull back up into here one tick into the gap Oh, and it looks like about five handles pretty much even is going to put you right at this high, maybe five and a half. So here's what I'm going to do personally. I want one tick above the high for a stop loss. And then I'd be willing to do a five handle stop. So I'm going to do actually two or three ticks into this gap right here. And then that'll be an even five handle stop loss for me. And then I'm going to look to target uh, all of this sell side down here. 4560 like so that is 21 handles right there that's a lot but we've got a lot of a lot of areas that we can partial before then obviously as well we've got these relative equal lows forming um, obviously we'll have a five handle TP1 and then we've got new week opening gap basically right here as well so we'll see, I'd like for this to come back and pick us up. There is obviously a chance that it will not. We'll see if this news this news event has enough power to push it lower. Uh, if it does, once this once these levels of sell side get taken, that's where I'm willing to get long. So I would look for a PD array to form for us to get long coming out of there, if that ends up being the case. But as of right now, yeah, this is the this is the trade. So we'll see if we get this. I'll send this in the Discord as well. All right, looks good to me. So here we go, guys. This is uh, this is how I'm setting it up here. I'll market execute on MetaTrader. It's frozen currently. There we go. All right, yeah. So. That'll be my game plan, guys. My entry is going to be 81.75. So 76.75 would be five handles. Is that right about here? Pretty close. This will be TP1 at five. I'm going to plan to do like a quarter, quarter per, like a quarter of my open position off, probably here on MetaTrader.
and then yeah TP2 is these lows um, and then basically once we start getting into this new week opening gap and working towards the sell side that'll be where we're looking to scale out completely we did just tap right into this gap Let's see if we can work it just a little bit more in there pick us up and there we go so I did get triggered in guys um five handles tp1 five handle stop loss one tick above the high and it's in the market makers hands now let's see if we are correct but yeah like jumping out here to like the five minute time frame we just had a bearish market structure shift on the five with this move down um to me i would consider this swing low the market structure shift on the five which we got a very nice close through here Pulled back up into OTE, level of premium, etc. So yes, great trade. This would be another one of those trades where it's like if you lost, like never beat yourself up over a trade like this, even if you end up losing, because this is pretty textbook as far as I'm concerned. This trade doesn't hit, my family doesn't eat. That's what I'm saying. Whether my dog eats today is going to be completely dependent on whether this hits TP1 or not. We're going to wait this candle out. We got a minute and a half left on it, so. What to do if you're just one contract? Yeah, that's... That'll have to be up to you. I mean, your options are get out fully at TP1 here or, you know, uh, hold for these further TPs and, and trail if you want, but... Um, yeah, I'm afraid I can't. There's no wrong answer. What I'm planning on doing, obviously, is I'm not going to partial anything on this top step account here. I'm just removing risk. And uh, I'm going to hold for these equal lows. That's why we waited for the candle to close. Oh, come on, ES. This is getting annoying. Sweet. Stopped out minus 5%. I'm going to screenshot this. Not 5%, uh, half percent. Just when I thought we could get a Monday. Guess not. All right, there's that. <laughs> Glad it's over. Yeah, amen. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the trade, guys. That was a good trade. We just It just didn't work out. Um, good setup and uh you know at this point at this point i would like to see a delivery higher i would like to see all these lows maybe start to get ran through and then we'll s probably anticipate um finally getting a bullish market structure shifts um that'd be what we would like to see worst case scenario is this thing just sells off from here but i, I kind of don't see that happening um the only way I'll replay this setup, we're going to hop off, but the only way I'll replay this setup would be in the event that um, this structure right here, you'd basically see this immediately displace lower and we get a market structure shift finally. And then you'd look to get that entry, which I will update in the Discord if that happens. But again, I, that's not what I'm anticipating at this point. I'm anticipating this to want to work higher. But yeah, we did everything right. Good setup. I'm okay taking a loss on it. I lost half percent on the trade um, on both accounts. So 1.3% up on the top step account, down half percent on the day or on the week so far with that. Um, but I will keep you updated on this if anything changes. Otherwise, we'll look to maybe capitalize on some during PM session. But yeah, this is probably why we're going to be taking Mondays off. I mean, but again, nothing, nothing wrong with the setup. It's just... For whatever reason, these, these conditions just continue to play out on Mondays. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just not fun starting the week off like this every single week over the last two months. So with that, have an amazing Monday, guys. I will talk to you guys later in the Discord if there's anything for PM session. But don't revenge trade. Don't do anything silly. Don't, again, this is all, about, this is all part of the journey, all part of the process. So don't do anything silly every single week. Over the last two months, this literally is how we start every week for the most part. And we end up making it all back and then some. So don't do anything silly. Don't blow your account today trying to get it back. Don't do anything 
outrageous. Okay, we'll get it back and then some, like we always do. But have an amazing Monday, guys. Gear up for a long, volatile week ahead. And I will talk to you guys later today. Peace out, guys.